for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffer the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another update video for you guys today. If you guys don't know, I do a weekly update video, whether it's a roster update like today or a title update like it was last week. Maybe that was two weeks ago now. I think last week was just a roster update. I'm not really sure. But I always do a weekly video on Fridays to let you guys know the state of Madden. So, as always, if you guys want me to continue this, make sure to be a subscriber. Woo! Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section because it helps out the channel and the video. Other than that, I'm going to do a couple different things today. I'm going to go over uh, the divisional uh, playoff round. I'm going to tell you guys who I think is going to win. I'm going to go ahead and give you my, my Super Bowl picks from here on out to the Super Bowl. Though obviously, that could change next week if the teams that I choose this week lose. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm going to give you guys my Super Bowl picks, and I'm also going to give you guys the roster update, which was mostly around um, you know just the uh, the playoff players, the uh, the wild card teams. Uh, although I am going to go over the season-ending uh, update that happened last week that I didn't really get to go over. I, I only really remember one that I had an issue with, and I'm going to go over that with you guys as well. I'm going to start off with playoff picks, though, because this is the Eagles and Chiefs first game. They both had bye weeks the first week. I'm pretty much going chalk. I don't know how you guys feel. I don't know who, what the spreads are, but I pretty much got the Eagles winning against the Giants. I got the uh, the Niners being the Cowboys, although that's the one game. If I had to pick like the most likely upset, I could see the Cowboys knocking off the Giants because the Cowboys are just that team that when they get hot, they can get very unpredictable, and I think that they could uh, give the Niners some, some, some problems. At the end of the day, I don't think Brock Purdy is taking the Niners to the Super Bowl. No rookie quarterback has ever done it, and I really don't think Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant, is going to be the first one to do it. If he does do it though he's the next Tom Brady if he if he if he does somehow get the Niners to the Super Bowl especially if he wins it he's playing really good football I'm not saying he's not I'm just saying that at some point he's going to get tripped up and last week it looked like it was going to happen against against Seattle there was a lot of times where he early in the first half when they were down that he kind of looked lost out there uh, on a, and I felt like they were calling way too many pass plays it was like first and ten and second and ten and third and ten it was like why are they throwing the ball so much with this young guy they got to really run the ball more which they should have success against Dallas because Dallas is not great against the run but the end of the day there's two factors that you know make me think that Dallas could win the game number one uh, Kyle Shanahan just loves to blow games he usually waits for a Super Bowl but at the end of the day he really uh, can can just his play calling sometimes can just be really bad in, in clutch situations number two um, like I said I just don't believe in Brock Perry to get to game to the Super Bowl he's gonna lose either this round or this round that's my prediction could be this round uh, the, the Dallas defense is very good against the pass so that's why it makes me think that it could happen uh, this round and the Eagles defense if the Eagles are still playing as well is very good against the pass so I think one of those defenses will trip him up he is at home though this week which will help uh, but at the end of the day I don't see the Niners getting all the way to the Super Bowl with Brock Purdy it just doesn't happen it's never happened in NFL history I don't see it happening now on the other side I think the Bengals are just destined to get back to the Super Bowl. I don't know if they'll win it this year, but I got them being the Bills, and I also got them being the Chiefs. So that lets you know what I think about what's going to happen in the Chiefs game. I don't see that. I don't think Jacksonville's ready to beat the Chiefs to beat a team like the Chiefs. You know, great for Jacksonville. Happy for Doug Pearson as an Eagles fan. Love the guy. Either way, I got the uh, the Bengals playing the Eagles in the Super Bowl, and I got the Eagles winning it. Maybe I'm a homer, but it is what it is. So now that I got my picks out there, let me know what you guys have as your picks for either this week or who you got winning the Super Bowl, your Super Bowl matchups, all that stuff. Let me know in the comments section. Section. Let's go and let's get to some of the player ratings that changed. So moving on to some of the players that uh, got some ratings boosts and some ratings drops. I'm just going to go from top to bottom. I'm not going to do it like I normally do where I go over the players up, players down. Stefan Diggs got a plus one. Obviously, uh, Bills won. You're going to notice the ratings are going to go based off of wins and losses. Justin Jefferson, minus one. Uh, he got, I mean, they said he got shut down. He had seven catches for 47 yards. Seven catches is pretty pretty good, but the 47 yards is not. I don't know what happened there. Every, every Vikings player really kind of pooped the bed. Uh, when you look at also Dalvin Cook, I mean, the, 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 the Giants don't really stop the run too well. Dalvin Cook only averaged four yards a carry, only got 60 yards. You need your star players to show up in playoff time. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, Kirk Cousins obviously too didn't play very well. Um, so all those things is why they're sitting at home this weekend. Joe Burrow gets a plus one. I expect that plus one to continue. I think he'll play lights out against the Bills uh, because, like I said, I picked them. I'm picking them to go to the Super Bowl. I've been picking them to go to the Super Bowl for a while now, just not on my, you know, obviously on my, my channel. Uh, next up, Sigmund Barkley. First uh, first game, he's the one guy that obviously worries me the most. He is an absolute stud. I love Sigmund Barkley. I mean, I'm a local guy, so I also like Penn State for the most part. Um, and he's 
just he's just an amazing player. Got a plus one. Not really sure what the um, you know the plus uh, what he, where he got the plus one at. I can check that out real quick. But at the end of the day, plus one. He got a he got a boost on awareness. Like that really matters. Dalvin Cook. I mentioned him already. Got a negative one. Um, you know he just he only had 40 or is it 60 yards or in in, in uh, an important playoff game against a very. Um, susceptible opponent when it comes to running the ball you got to show up man it just is what it is minka fitzpatrick got a negative one did the steelers even play this week i don't understand why he got a negative one what did he do that uh, other than lead the league in interceptions what did he do to get a to, to lose a point uh in rating i don't i don't know that's just crazy i mean i never really understand where madden's heads at a lot, a lot of times andrew thomas left tackle for the uh the giants got a plus one i know my giants fans are happy to hear that i've been hearing his name in the comment section of this particular video all year uh i don't think he's the best left tackle in the game i think that they're right to have trent williams up there but andrew thomas probably isn't very far off i think he only gave up like one sack all year and it was to to Mika parsons again so definitely a great player jamar chase needs to get that boost too he's gonna he'll probably come for it next week uh moving on there's nothing really um you know nothing that i'm gonna get more upset about than dak prescott getting a plus three after one very good playoff performance i'll give him credit for that but plus three he's up to a 90 off of that performance i mean like i said played really good and that he's one of the main reasons why i say that dallas could upset because once again i'm looking at when it comes to i'm always just looking at quarterbacks the teams can be fairly similar but at the end of the day the better quarterbacks usually win i mean that's just how the game you know whoever has the ball in their hand the, the ball in their hand last usually wins and that's one of the reasons i know dak prescott is definitely playing on a level where i would take him over brock purdy at the moment just based off of experience alone but a plus three is kind of ridiculous. I mean, you would act like you think he threw for 500 yards in that playoff game. Like I said, very game. I don't want to let my my hater side come out too much. Uh, T.J. Hawkinson got a plus one on that. Uh, you know, he had like what 100 some yards in that game. Um, although, you know, obviously Kirk Cousins should have went on him on that last play for four yards when they needed eight. But at the end of the day, I think it was two yards actually when they needed like eight yards on fourth and eight. But uh, plus one, he's up to a 90 now. Tyron Matthew got a minus one. Once again, did he play? I don't. I don't think the Saints made the playoffs. I don't know where that where that came from. Uh, Denzel Ward also a minus one. Did the did the Browns play? I don't understand why he must have really did something wrong in the uh, from his couch at home. Uh, Ryan Jensen negative one as well. They did play. Um, I don't know. You know, I know the entire Bucks team just gonna get hit with a bunch of negatives after a horrible performance. Uh, but that was a team. I mean, they had a losing record. They probably didn't belong in the playoffs. Every year, there seems to be one team in the record in the playoffs with a losing record that doesn't belong. Tom Brady, probably the biggest one, negative one. He should get like a negative five. Like this dude needs to retire. People are saying that he's gonna get a job somewhere. That somebody's gonna want him, and I don't know why. Like he he was the he was the biggest problem on the Bucks. I don't see what team, like, you know, they're saying, like, the Niners. I think the Niners should roll with Brock Purdy, whoever they can put out there. I don't think that Tom Brady's going to improve that offense. I think that he, I don't, I think that he can't really throw the ball down the field very much anymore. And I think defenses know that. And that's why they're, they're, they're packing the box and making it very hard for them to run and for him to pass short. So I think Tom Brady's pretty spent. Uh, I don't really buy that at all. Corey Lindsley, negative one down on 88. Justin Herbert, negative one on 88. I've been saying forever in this pod, in this, I call it a podcast, in this particular type of video every week, I'm always saying how I think Justin Herbert is overrated. He's not a winner. And that last game proved it. I mean, he was up 27 to nothing or something like that. Something crazy and lost. Okay, so that's just, like I said, Justin Herbert is not a winner. I don't know when people are going to kind of realize that. He's a good player. He's a stat guy, but he's just not a winner. He will never, I don't think he'll ever win a Super Bowl. He has a losing record in high school and a losing record in college. And he just had his first playoff appearance and it was a, it was a disaster. Uh, Matt Milano gets a plus two. He's an 88 now. I think he had a pick six or something like that. I, I don't really remember, but he's he, recently, with your, either in the last game of the regular season or in the playoffs, I really don't remember, but he's an 88. Very good player, but geez, I mean, Jalen Hurts is still an 85 and he's an MVP candidate. So I'm going to keep, you know, pumping that up. Aaron and Rodgers got a negative one again. He's not even playing. He's, he's sitting at home. He got a negative one. They're trying to fix that rating, guys. Daniel Hunter got a plus one. Played pretty good uh, in, in the late uh, stages of that uh, Vikings game. So he's up to an 87. Um, and I think we're about done as far as the uh, the major the major names. Tremaine Edwards got a plus one. He's up to an 87. I thought he started the year in 87. Tremaine Edwards, very good linebacker. Um, I didn't know he was the second best linebacker on his team, though. Dre Greenlaw up to an 86 with a plus one. He's guy probably should have been a Pro Bowl player. Very underrated, um, underrated guy. Eric Kendricks get a negative one down at 86. Khalil Mack negative one down at 86. I don't think there's a guy who's had a bigger drop off this year than Khalil Mack. I started as a 92, now he's an 86. And I thought he had decent stats. I don't know how he's all the way down at 86. That's kind of crazy, but uh, definitely a good player. And that's pretty much it. I really only go over the guys that are 85 and above. 
uh, although Chardavis Ward is an 85, and he went down a point, um, you know, cornerback for the Niners, which I don't understand because I actually think he's been playing pretty good. Uh, I know he got pooped on by DK Metcalf, but the first time they played, he pretty much shut DK Metcalf down. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comments section because, like I said, it really helps out the video and the channel. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.